Gather today right on the sand next to the shore of this constant and unlimited force of the blue Caribbean waters right beside you. May your love be as limitless as the ocean and ever enriching as the sun above you. May your love also forever redefine itself and hold within it the essence of life and true happiness. And so, in pledging your lives of love to one another, we celebrate your commitment to a strong and indeed a very loving relationship. So of course I must say, may your love touch and inspire all those who love you. And just as the waters behind you, they do touch and nourish the many shores across the earth. Yes. I will pose the three questions of intent to you and to each you will answer, I do. All right? Yes. So, Marcus and Joe, have you both come here freely, without any hesitation or reservation, to give yourselves to each other in marriage? What say you? I do. Yes. What I say do. you? Okay, I had to hear that. <laughs> do you both promise to love, to honor, and of course to respect each other as husband and as wife for the rest of your lives? I, I do. do. And lastly, do you also promise to cherish, to be faithful to each other, and of course to honor the vows that you will make to each other yes. for as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. I do. Excellent. Wow, you gave me three I do, yeah. so I have to move on. So now that you do, I'm required now by the laws of St. Lucia to take a legal declaration from each of you. Yes. So Marcus, you will declare I followed by your full name. Mm -hmm. Proceed. I, Marcus Ruben Lopez, do solemnly declare. Do sol solemnly declare that there is that there is no legal impediment. No legal impediment to this marriage. To this marriage. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. you do the same for me, Joe. I, followed by your full name. I, Joanne Dawnwake, do solemnly declare. Do solemnly declare. That there is that there is no legal impediment. No legal impediment to this marriage. To this marriage. Okay. You didn't want to say wig, you prefer to say a week, a week. Collect the flowers, please. Thank you. Turn and join hands facing each other. Listen. And now you are ready to exchange your to each other your solemn vows, right? Yes. And of course these vows represent your total, your permanent and your binding covenant with each other for the rest of your lives. Jojo, the love I have for you is deep as the ocean is wide and something I've wished for my whole life. You make me feel totally free to be myself and your lovers make me feel self-assured and not to care what other people may think. You are the most adorable, balanced, confident, caring, fun, grounded, intelligent lady and I love how non-materialistic you are. <laughs> Your words of love and affirmations fill me with joy on a daily basis. I love the fact you seek to understand me, my thoughts before forming an opinion. Our communication styles and our love languages speak to each other perfectly. Your loving warmth gives me sensations I've never experienced before. You are to me, the most beautiful, empathetic, ambitious, driven, focused, straight shooting, <laughs> conscientious soul. And I'm very proud that you've accepted my offer of marriage and today we will become husband and wife and a team for life. Jojo, you have transformed my life. In five years, we've been together. Your immense love and nurture has made me feel much more confident in my ability to trust my own logic and decision making. We have travelled to places I've only dreamed of and we always have the most amazing time together. You have made so many of my wishes come true. 
I look forward to many, many more adventures in the future. I want this dream of you to last forever. I promise to love you every day in the good times and when the challenges arise. I promise to make you my priority and consider your feelings always. Jojo, you are my world and I promise to treat you as such. I promise to love and care for you, support you, adorn you, and as long as we shall live and grow younger together. I pray that like fine wine, we will age with good health and grace. <laughs> I am eternally grateful that I've met you, my perfect match and my princess. Oh, that was so long. Oh, I was searching for a mind, body and soul connection and I found that and so much more than you. It really was love at first sight for me. That initial feeling of love and attraction was so intense that I knew I'd found someone incredibly special. Our love has grown much stronger over time. And I've never been so happy because of the true love, care and support you show me every day. We have such an amazing time together, in part because we enjoy so many of the same things, but also because we communicate so well with one another and place importance on our special, emotional and physical bonds. Marcus, there are so many things I love about you. I love how you call me Zhuzhi and your princess. I love how you stroke my hair to soothe me to sleep, cuddle me through the night and kiss me as soon as we wake up every morning. I love how you put me on the inside of you to protect me when walking down the street, just as my dad has always done. I love how you have your own mind, don't take anything at face value, think deeply and draw your own conclusions. I love how excited you get by food and flavours, whether it's eating out or creating something for us in the kitchen or on the barbecue. And I love it when something amuses you, quite often me, and you laugh out loud, really loud, and then check yourself and look around to see if anyone has noticed. <laughs> but most of all, I love how much fun we have together, how you are my biggest champion and unwavering support whenever I'm spiralling or I need you. You accept, celebrate and love everything that makes me who I am, so I can always be my true self around you. I know you will be a brilliant husband and today I promise to be the best wife I can be. I commit to taking care of your physical and emotional needs to the best of my ability. I commit to staying loyal and faithful to you forever and I commit to always putting us first above all else. We've already made so many amazing memories and I'm excited for our next chapter as husband and wife. You are the most wonderful, <laughs> handsome man, and I absolutely adore you. <sighs> Marrying you is truly the happiest day of my life. <laughs> oh, All right, so I'll put the traditional vows to you in the form of questions, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of questions will till it ends and then you will answer simply I do. Okay. okay. So Marcus, you went first, so I'll begin with you first. Mm -hmm. Do you, Marcus, take Joe, whom you're now holding her hand, to be a lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony from this day forward? Do you promise her your unconditional love and fidelity? Do you also promise to comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, for prosperity and adversity, through good times and bad, and you'll remain her best friend, her companion, and her partner for as long as you both shall live. I do. And do you, Joe, take Marcus, whom you're now holding his hand, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony from this day forward? Mm -hmm. Do you promise him your unconditional love and fidelity? Do you also promise to comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, for prosperity and adversity, through good times and bad, and you'll remain his best friend, his companion, and his partner for as long as you both shall live. I do. Thank you. Turn on this over here now. Come with the rings. Marcus and Joe before me, and of course before you, and before your witnesses, mm -hmm. uh, including Rohan, who is carrying the rings, are those beautiful wedding rings, which you shall be exchanging with each other to wear as a symbol of the union for the rest of your lives. 
I want to remind you uh, from reading um, I know for thousands of years lovers like you have exchanged rings as a token of their vows to each other right so I would like that these rings which you are about to exchange be a sign to you both that love has a past a present and a future through you and always within you please give it with love and of course I know you will wear it with even more love let me hear you. Yes. Deal? No deal? Deal. deal. I do. All right, I good. <laughs> Take a ring now. Okay. Place it okay. in her left third finger. And as you place the ring, call her name. Joe. With my free and unconstrained soul. With my free and unconstrained soul. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And all that I'll become. And all that I'll become. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And with it. And with it, my promise of faith, my promise of faith, patience, patience, love and fidelity, love and fidelity for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Put it in his finger. Let's bring your finger and Marcus. call his name. Use both hands. Yes, call Marcus. His name. With my free and unconstrained soul. With my free and unconstrained soul. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And all that I'll become. And all that I'll become. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And with it. And with it. My promise of faith. My promise of faith. Patience. Patience. Love and fidelity. Love and fidelity. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Hmm. Marcus looking different, boy. His, his mindset is different now, instantly. <laughs> Turn and face me now. So, Marcus and Joe, without any doubt in my mind, I must say that you have satisfied me, that you have met the full requirements of marriage in accordance with the laws of St. Lucia. So it behoves me by virtue of the powers vested in me as marriage officer in the island of St. Lucia, I pronounce and I declare you husband and wife. Embrace and kiss your wife. <laughs> So as I conclude this ceremony, mm -hmm. I'm sending you forth into the world to enjoy true love and happiness. And it gives me a really great pleasure and an honor to present you to this resort, to St. Lucia, to London and the world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time as husband and wife, I have the pleasure of presenting Mr. and Mrs. Lopez. <laughs> So, Mr. and Mrs. Lopez, here is your certificate of marriage. You might want to take a nice photo for the cameras to capture. Some people live for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power, yeah. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's within And I've been there before, but that life's a ball So full of the superficial Loving you, it's physical, spiritual too. It's a healing in my soul. I was half, but now I'm whole. A deeper truth I found in you. Love is automatic when you're lying next to me, and I'm so glad we've got it. Automatic chemistry, love is automatic. 